I have a winter sowing dilemma and I want to talk through it with you, my gardening community. So welcome to my channel, welcome to my garden, and welcome to my winter sowing dilemma. A few weeks back on January 30th, I started a, an experiment in my garden with winter sowing. I found three different methods to start your seeds using the winter sowing method, and I wanted to test them out and see what would work best for me here in Zone 7B in North Carolina. I did the OG method, which I've dubbed that uh, the milk jug, a plastic bin with little containers full of seeds, and then I also did the craziest method, a Ziploc bag method. I did four different varieties, zinnia, buttercrunch lettuce, tithonia, Mexican sunflower, and snapdragons. And so I set them out in full sun, and what do you know, the temperatures were too warm and most everything germinated quickly. Well, a couple of days after everything had germinated, we get down into the 20s for two nights in a row. And I talked through it in my head and it made sense to me to just leave it and see what happens because I truly want to know what works and what doesn't. I am new to winter sowing. Last year was my very first time. And so I don't know all the ins and outs. I have no experience other than what happened last year. Last year, I started my seeds in my winter sowing containers on February 14th. My last frost date is April 10th. I opened my containers on March 30th and they were amazing. Well, last year we had a normal winter. This year we are having an unseasonably warm winter. So things already are different than they were on my very first time. So without a lot of experience, I'm not as comfortable with what to do. So after the two nights of freezing temperatures, I went out and checked the containers and I realized I had lost my zinnias and my Mexican sunflower. Um, they had frozen and so me not protecting them after they had germinated was a huge mistake. There are some seeds that are okay with early germination and the colder temperatures like snapdragons, like lettuce. Year, I didn't pay attention to when you're supposed to start your seeds for winter sowing. I just started a bunch of seeds and I didn't have this problem. I also was looking back through some pictures and noticed that I put them over here to start off with behind my greenhouse and not out in the full sun. And so I've already done that differently. So now I am left with a dilemma. I now realize that I need to protect. If, if my seeds germinate, I feel like the best thing to do is to protect them. So here is where I wanna talk through this with you. The way I look at it, you have a certain time period that you start your winter sowing, right? Last frost date for me is April 10th. I am at eight weeks now to April 10th. And so my thought is I do need to go ahead and start my winter sowing containers to be able to give that period of time of stratification for some. This week is when I was going to do all of them. Even seeds that say four weeks indoors, I was gonna start this week. What do you do? Do you go ahead and start your seeds in winter sowing all at one time? Or do you sort of follow the indoor start time for your winter sowing. Do you think that if I would have protected the zinnias and the tithonia, Mexican sunflower, they would have been okay? Do you think if I would have put them in my greenhouse overnight and put them back out, they would have been okay? Or do, do you wait in a zone sort of like mine, seven you know, or below, do you wait to start those until later because they are a warm season? because like I'm looking at some of my seeds that say start 10 to 12 weeks and looking at our 10 day forecast right now, we have nothing really below 60 and nighttime lows are in the 40s to 50s. And even on Thursday, it's gonna be 80. So we don't have any cold weather coming up at all. And normally we're in the 20s uh, at, at night. Also, Putting them in the shade to keep them from germinating in a space that stays shady uh, really doesn't get any direct sunlight. Is that going to be the right thing? So if you don't mind, I feel like I ask you guys a lot, but you know, I think the coolest thing about having a YouTube channel is being able to reach out and ask the questions that I genuinely don't know. And I also I feel like other people that don't know, they can go to the comments and learn from you seasoned uh, winter sowers. Thank you so much in advance for your help 
uh, your advice, your wisdom. My mom is the reason that I fell in love with gardening. My mom is 85 years old and um, we lost my dad two years ago this coming Wednesday and her heart just hasn't been into gardening. And so being able to reach out and ask for advice when I know that, like my mom taught me so much, um, even though I've been in this industry, I've been in, in the landscaping horticulture, my degree is in it in college, and you know, I've been in this, there are so many things that I don't know. And, and this is one of them that I genuinely have a passion to learn. And so I wanna ask you, if you will impart your wisdom to me. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of my every day. And I hope that you have a great day and a great week. And I will see you in another video soon. Thank you so much. Take care.